So no, no, honey, I'm good. I could have another, but I probably should not. I got somebody at home, and if I stay, I might not leave alone. No, honey. Hello, and welcome to another fantastic episode of PHTV. I'm Daniel Kelly. And I'm Jordan Grace. Now, as you know, we're going to give the announcements for the day, and you're going to pretend to. Listen, but we've got to go quick because the electives video is coming up right afterwards. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, let's roll. Navina DeLuca is learning the basics. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Navina DeLuca is a pear blossom princess this year and is collecting and the clothes and other supplies for the Maslow Project and for Hearts with a Mission. There are boxes in the front office with the full list of needs. Help her fill these boxes for these great organizations. Anyone interested in learning the basics of video production, like Navina DeLuca apparently, uh, Jason Holt will be teaching a class about camera movement, editing technique, techniques, and etc. for his senior project. The class will be held this Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 3.30 to 4.30, and then Wednesday through Thursday the following next week, yeah, the next week, in uh, the video classroom, room N206. Please help Jason out with his project and just show up to learn. Several classes around the school now have donation boxes in them for Matthew Steiner's senior project. If you've seen one, feel free to donate any pocket change you can spare. Donations go to the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, aka UNICEF, to help kids in developing countries get the vaccines they need. A school-wide lip-dub music video will be on April 15th during the same time we would normally have for an assembly schedule. We do need the school to participate in this and be hyped up, get energetic about it, but if there's any negativity or vulgar language or signs, we can't do the video, which would ruin the senior projects of some individuals. So please participate with positive and enthusiastic energy. This week is Classified Employees Week. This includes all the staff here at PHS that aren't technically teachers and yet keep the inside of PHS running like clockwork. We have a segment to mark the occasions, so here it is. Classified Employee Week, March 2nd through March 6th. Sherry Merriman, Diane Wolf. Denise Wright, Rami Zakiel, Rusan Pond, Trina Ritchie, Colleen O'Sullivan, Chris Elkin, Breezy Chapman, Kathy Kaufman, Sandy Neal, Sonia Lemix, Brenda Seely, Edith Collins, Frank Avila, Jane Poldowski, Denise Meir, Norma Crosby, Fernando Juarez, Linda Lockridge, Lenev Pierce, Stephanie Coates, Tom Randale, Rosie Truex, Susan Sorensen, Henry Juarez, Jim Heath, Bill Evans, Nick Elliott, Thomas Lissette, Alan Tappan. Thank you to all the classified employees that help students achieve their goals. Here's a big shout out to our custodians, librarians, and staff. You guys rock. Yes, thank you for everything that you can do for us. The high blood pressure that's created really makes a difference in our lives. Absolutely. The fifth annual Careers in Gear Youth Expo is coming up soon. Southern Oregon is filled with entrepreneurial businesses with incredible career opportunities. Thousands of local high school students enter the workforce every year and have very little knowledge of the exciting career pathways right here in our own backyard. The event is on March 12th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Medford School District Education Center, but keep in mind that pre-registration is required. Lunch will be provided and amazing door prizes will be given out based on your participation. On Monday, March 9th, the nine public organ for universities will be visiting PHS. All juniors will attend a presentation by these universities during second period. Juniors should report to the theater at 925 on Monday morning. After the presentation, juniors will report to advisory to complete the pre-registration process for next year. The Diploma Center will be open to juniors and seniors for the first three days of spring break, March 18th, 19th, and 20th from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Please see Mrs. Pond in the Diploma Center to sign up. Next up, we have a segment talking about some other important senior deadlines. Let's roll it. The last day to turn in senior photos, senior quotes, and baby pictures is Friday, March 13th. This is what the senior video and yearbook will look like if you do not turn them in. If you do turn them in, it'll look more like this. Most of the time 
seniors, please turn in your photos, quotes, and baby photos to Mr. Rhodes by Friday, March 13th. Seniors, please keep that date in mind. Some of the, uh, it's coming up pretty quick, so you don't want to wait to miss it. Relay for Life PHS students team is forming. This team is for students who are interested in raising money for cancer research, honoring a friend or family member struggling with cancer, earning community service hours, and participating in the Relay on May, May 16th through 17th at SOU. They meet regularly in Mrs. Barton's room, room N412, on Fridays at lunch. FFA, here are some announcements for you. Tomorrow there is a food science meeting at lunch uh, and a record books after school. Um, Wednesday there is a floriculture and nursery meeting at lunch and Thursday you'll be having a mandatory state conference meeting at lunch. In DECA news, Audrey Hazel won first place in her hotel and lodging management. This qualifies her for ICDC. She was also second in one of her role plays in the event. Emmy Weiss was fifth overall in the same event. Kyle Bodermans was first in his role play for apparel and fifth overall in that event. Audrey and Emmy were fifth overall in, that, in their team event. They were also fifth overall in their written event. Maddie Gearhart was first place for testing for her event. She was also 14th in her other event. Great job, Decca. Next up, we have a segment to showcase our spring sports, which begins today. Let's roll it. Dude, Jason, I'm so bored with all this school stuff. Yeah, I know. I just wish that there was something to do this spring that would just occupy our time, you know? Attention all students. There will be tryouts for all of Phoenix's spring sports in about five minutes. Be there or be square. Softball. Track and field. join these spring sports so Nate and Jason don't have to. Anyone who participates in three sports this year will be recognized at a barbecue at the end of the year. In an effort to promote multi-sport involvement, any student who participates in three sports this year will be recognized at a barbecue at the end of school at, at the end of the school year. And speaking of sports, several wrestlers from PHS competed this weekend at the OSAA State Wrestling Championships. Congratulations to Navina DeLuca for winning a state championship. Congratulations to Richard Orndorff for finishing fifth at state. And Cedar King, Justin Knight, and Trace Vega for finishing sixth at state. Congratulations to all Phoenix wrestlers on a terrific season. The breakfast for this week is tomorrow, mini bagels with yogurt cups, Wednesday with a breakfast burrito, Thursday is pancakes of your choice, blueberry, strawberry, or plain, and Friday is mini cinnamon rolls. Lunch for the week is as follows, the ever-popular Pirate Bowl today, Sloppy Joe's tomorrow, 
Uh, Wednesday is corn dog with baked beans. Thursday is chicken a la king biscuit bowl with steamed veggies. And Friday we'll have three cheese pizza with garden salad. Also worth, uh, or sorry, three cheese pasta with garden salad. Also, we're serving a buffalo chicken pizza on Mondays now, and March 30th through March 30th through April 3rd will yield free breakfast for all. Every Wednesday, Breezy and leadership hide a camel somewhere around the school, and as of you may know, the first person to find it wins a prize. Last week's winner was Carissa Bradley, so congratulations. Uh, La Clinica services are still operating at the school on Thursday mornings, 8.30 a.m., providing free medical, physical, and dental help. Please sign up early in the morning on Thursdays, or they might not be able to see you. Next up, we have a segment showcasing the Spring Fest dance that is coming up, part of Tonali Rojas' senior project. All right, let's roll it. But wait, there's more. For a limited time only, we'll be throwing in one trivia question absolutely free. That's right, Jordan. Tell the viewers at home what they might win. A Subway gift card. That's right. The winner of Trivia Time this week is... That's quite the drum roll. Um, Kimberly Gillen. Gillen. Uh, yeah. Uh, with the answer of February 23rd at 4.30 p.m. Uh, in Miss Hansen's advisory. Congratulations, you've won the Subway gift card. Come on down to Mr. Rhodes' room to claim your prize. This week's question are, is, who are we celebrating this week? And that's it for this week's show. This has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.